50, 50 seconds in and I've already messed this up. Okay, so I wanted to make a video today and give you guys a bit of an update of what's going on in my life. So, yeah, so I suppose, let me do the first thing that I always fail to do, which is, um, so I wanted to make a video today and give you guys a bit of an update of what's going on in my life. I thought today I would make a YouTube video and come hell or high water, I was actually going to post it. For anybody who's new to the channel, my name is Craig Jamison. I'm a creative leader, I am a designer, I am a coach, a speaker and an educator. And I usually make videos about design and creativity and other stuff. And I thought I'd kind of bring kind of people who are new to the channel and people who've kind of been to the channel before up to speed on what's going on because I haven't posted a video forever. So, I stopped making YouTube videos because I was making IGTV videos and then IGTV videos kind of stopped because I, I started getting busy um, on projects and, and then a new job. And so, yeah, I just didn't have the time, I guess, to, to kind of do anything else. And then the other thing is that with YouTube videos, after doing IGTV videos, kind of, it seemed really hard to put together. So, I, I don't know, I kept stopping myself. The other day I made a video about getting the iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, made a video about, well recorded a video, let's just get that clear. But yeah, I recorded a video about going down to uh, Umschlange in Durban and yeah I just couldn't put it together because I put too much pressure on myself to actually kind of find this interesting way of telling stories and not just sit focused and facing the camera because I don't think it's very YouTube to do that it's cool for IGTV but I don't know I think for YouTube, you need to do that little something that makes your video kind of stick out or whatever in amongst everything else. I struggle to do things like walk around with a camera, talking to a camera. I don't have somebody to record me. And if I look at all the best stuff out there, and this is, this is a human mistake that we all make, which is we compare ourselves to other people. If I look at what other people are doing, you know, they've got somebody walking around filming them, and if they are filming themselves, they're usually walking around, or they're in a fancy studio, and I feel I don't live up to that, and I'm incapable of doing certain things with the resources that I have, which is a limiting belief, and, and definitely something that I need to work on. I'm tidy does that look. Anyway, so, I just thought today to hell with it, this is what I'm going to do and hopefully this works out. So let me give you a little bit of an update about my year so far. I mean we are drawing to the end of the year. It's probably been one of the hardest years I've ever had. Um, I left my job last year at Nedbank and I had to now find a, a new job or, or a new project. and. I find myself in quite a difficult financial situation and quite a difficult kind of mental space because I literally couldn't find a really great opportunity. And yeah, I, I struggle with that I, as I think anybody would. I, I'm human like anybody and I think we all know it's not so easy to just, um, I suppose, you know, deal with, with, you know, not having a way of paying the bills. Hey guys, so I had some audio issues here. The mic, for whatever reason, starts ticking, like, and it just kind of gets worse. And I've got a feeling that what happens is the mic kind of dislodges a little bit from 
the is it a not the thunderbolt the lightning adapter i think like it's disjointed i think it starts tick tick ticking away and it's so overbearing you actually can't listen to the audio correctly i don't have a fix for it if anyone's got a fix please leave a comment below sure you're the mic kind of manufacturer you guys should surely had this problem before i hope somebody can fix it uh let's get back to the video and also at the same time not doing anything now i find myself in this difficult position of i'm now this very senior creative director and i'm also a 40 something year old adult is supposed to have his shit together and I don't, in, in a lot of ways I don't, and, and that makes me, I suppose, feel less than. And, you know, at the senior level, you would think that I could just go from one thing to the next thing and it's easy. And, you know, I can blame things like, I had a great opportunity when I left NetBank, and I was rejected or, or turned down because of the fact that I don't have a matric. It was very hard for me to, to hear that at the, with the level of experience that I have, I couldn't get a job because I don't have a matric certificate. Despite all my experience, despite anything that I've learned not being a result of having a matric. I mean, you're completely self-taught, you've made it this far, and then somebody says, no, but we can't hire you without a matric. It's, it's a hard pull to swallow. And then it just got really hard to keep to find something. And in fact, I didn't find something until much later in the year. Um, I only started working on, um, like, like on a project for a company as a contractor closer to end of April, May. So it's a long time to not be earning. It's a long time to not doing anything and, and it can be very dangerous to be in that space and then yeah it, it's then picking yourself up and, and having to do work that is not necessarily what you're used to doing you know i enjoy being a creative leader and i suddenly had to go back and, and do things and work in ways that i wasn't really used to and my ego gets in the way and so on but hey you're earning money again so you can't complain so you've got to just kind of go with it and um yeah i did however find an opportunity and i went there with all the enthusiasm as i do with any opportunity uh really easy to get the jobs but want to be straight away but this wasn't a place for me. And I don't want to get into the specifics of it because I don't believe in bashing anybody or, or anything, but within a three month period, less than three months, I left. This wasn't the opportunity for me. Um, I had to kind of do what was best for myself. I had too much anxiety. Uh, I was working in an environment where I didn't feel appreciated and I didn't feel like I was doing my best work and it just wasn't a place for me. So I had to call it quits and I took a big leap of faith because I actually, it's not like I had another opportunity, but things were just not going the way they should have for me and I have no regrets about making the move. The problem is now is that I have to find a new job or a new project to tie me over because financially I'm, I'm under quite a bit of stress. So that's really, that's kind of like has been the major kind of challenge for me this past year. And in that, it's, it's left me kind of not feeling great about making movies, not kind of really having the time or, or the, I don't actually believe in no time, the energy um, to be able to make more content and share more content. It, it's very easy to get disillusioned. I know how I am. I, I, I accept this about myself and it is certainly something that I, I don't just accept things about myself and go, I cannot change. It's how I am. 
I'm going to be difficult about it. No, I'm, I'm not that person. The type of person that I am is, is somebody who says, cool, right now, this is one of my challenges as a, as a human, is that I'm either at naught or hundred. I'm kind of doing nothing or I'm doing everything. And I need to find that little ground of going, okay, wait a minute. Um, you know, you need to be able to put your energy into a bunch of things, not just this or that. So I'm either making movies or I'm not making movies. Well, why am I not making movies? Well, because they're not 100. I can't put 100% of my energy into it. My energy is into something else. So I'm either here or there. And I'm either giving everything or I'm giving nothing. And and that's something that I know that it's how I am. I acknowledge it. I know that that's not who I want to be and not how I want to be. I want to be able to do many things well. And that doesn't mean that I want to be a generalist because that could be silly. But I need to be able to kind of give so much energy to work, so much energy to my health. And that's my fitness, my nutrition and my sleep and all those other good things that help you sustain the right mental model to excel in every other aspect of your life. And then at the same time, I, I have a big desire in my heart to share as much information as I can. I think if I'm gonna leave a, a legacy about anything based on what I've currently experienced is that I've got knowledge to share. So I want to be able to do that and that's making videos and that's YouTube and it's also IGTV and any other way. I mean, I literally installed TikTok yesterday for about the hundredth time and I still don't know what format it is that I'm going to say anything because I'm not, I just don't feel like I'm going to dance or sing or do silly little skits or anything like that. But maybe there's a way that I can share on there. It's clearly a big platform. But right now, I'm going to try and do a combination of YouTube videos, IGTV, Wrap This Year Up properly. I would love to be able to get to like 100 videos because I'm just like not there. I thought I quite easily could have got there earlier this year, but I haven't. So these kind of seem to be, based on what I'm saying now, is I've got three areas. I've got like my career and everything. I've got my health and nutrition and mental kind of everything. And then I've got like the thing that I like to do, which is share. Um, I need to be able to put energy into all three of those things. And I find it really difficult, obviously. And I feel sometimes like I'm letting you down, I'm letting myself down. Like I sat yesterday and felt sorry for myself. And I was thinking that I'm not, the world's not getting the best out of me. And I'm not being able to use the talents that I've got and the knowledge that I've got and like that makes me feel like I'm failing and that I'm letting everybody down including myself and uh, that's not what I want to do. I, I want to be able to kind of share and if I can't share not be beat myself up about it. I mean that's unnecessary. Nobody kind of needs that kind of pressure on themselves. So hopefully, like I've given you a little bit of insight of how my year's gone. I'll be honest, not, not a whole lot more has kind of happened this year for me. I'm sure if I think about it, there's probably some milestones and, and some very interesting stuff, but yeah, I'll be honest, my year's very much been a challenge. Um, I sometimes can't see that whole growth thing and the, the lessons and all the other things that people tell you that you're supposed to get out of this. I kind of think like I sometimes feel like all I'm doing is suffering unnecessarily, probably in my own head more than probably even life uh, trying to make me suffer. So it's probably like my own doing. But at the same time, I don't want to beat myself up there. It's been a tough year. And I think anybody who takes the time to really sit down with me and unpack my story 
would see that this, this would be challenging for anybody and um, the fact that I have gotten through this so far is yeah it, it's quite a thing and, and something that I should be proud of of course we've got like less than two months left of this year and I've now got to like figure out like how I'm going to earn money how I'm going to pay the bills and at the same time though not let it overwhelm me, overwhelm me so much that I don't get anything done and that I'm miserable and so because that's just not good energy and like I do believe life is all about kind of what you're putting out there and, and the energy that you put back into the world so I've got to try and maintain a certain level of happiness and excitement and enthusiasm for life and then at the same time I've got to be like very pragmatic because you know I actually need a job so I can't walk around like in this kind of delusional state of self-happiness and, and go oh I'm fine I'm fine everything's good you know let's put out good vibes good vibes when inside I'm broken because I'm starting to feel that pressure of having to find another opportunity be it a full-time job be, be it another project and if I'm honest about it it's just about how do I earn enough money to not be in financial ruin um, before the year end or entering the new year because I kind of had that happen to me towards the end of last year and early this year so that's what I need to do but at the same time I also need to kind of I believe that the, the, the one way to stay happy is to keep doing things that you love and one of those things that I truly love is making videos and sharing my knowledge through the videos and then you know maintaining good health because I believe good health and, and a good mental state and a good diet and a good kind of exercise routine and all those things are essential for keeping stability physically and mentally through any of the other challenges in life. And uh, so I know I need to be strong in, in all of those areas. There are also other things like personal relationships with my son, with uh, in my romantic life, in with my friendships, um, with myself even. But that, a lot of that goes back into the health thing. You know, we, we're talking health, health to me can be the relationships and everything else. Um, and then, you know, this year has been probably one of the years where I've done the least amount in terms of traveling, adventure, and so on, I guess. Um, and I don't know, I really, I, I would like to get back there. So, yeah, I hope this guy like gives you guys a bit of insight into kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm going to edit this video and put it up anyway even though i don't think it gets anywhere near where i want to make youtube's go there's no fancy anything it's literally me just staring at a camera and i hate that but um i guess i've got to accept that this is the best i can do now and it's better to do something than it is to do nothing so yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts and um, so please you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, uh, hit me up on Instagram or any other social network channel. And, um, thanks for watching.